the simple life. A way to live where you have a smaller footprint, less to take care of, so you have less stress. Your job is stressful. Driving in traffic is stressful. Dealing with people, dealing with the relationships in your life, uh, dealing with mechanical failures, your car or maybe even something in your house has an issue. Health problems, whether you have a cavity in your teeth or, you know, you got a major health crisis. Life is just full of stress. And the simple life is just making the stress less to deal with, specifically around, you know, the the less you have, the less you stress, you know, the, the simple equation, you know, it's like trying to explain the simple life is simple, but why is it complex? It, it's complex because human nature is that we're gatherers, hunters and gatherers. Human nature is we want to ensure survival. Uh, so our emotions tell us to acquire. Discipline is checking our emotions. The simple life requires that you're able to analyze your emotion and discern or tell the difference between a need and a want. And uh, of course, there's nothing wrong with wants. There's nothing wrong with buying something you really don't need. But it has to be in proportion to your budget, your objectives, your goals, in order to live your best life and stress less. You know, I love this simple life. It's uh, As I make this video, it's Labor Day in the United States of America. I know some people across the country, they don't celebrate that holiday. It's just a, it's a holiday where Americans celebrate certain labor rights that were given to them after they protested, uh, striked against certain companies, and ensured that we had weekends off, ensured that we got paid for overtime, ensured that the working class got a seat at the table the same way the corporations lobby the government all the way till today. And I look at, at society on a holiday weekend in America, and I look at people who are very stressed, even with many people not working uh, due to layoffs with the coronavirus or due to um, some things not being fully open. I, I look at people and I still see a high level of stress. And a lot of it's self-induced because they have to party, they have to drink, they have to set off fireworks in order to relieve some of the stress. I never want to live a life where I have to depend on a holiday, I have to depend on a beer, I have to depend on fireworks to make me happy. I want my lifestyle, my everyday lifestyle, to be less stressful so I can enjoy life, not just enjoy a holiday. You know, I never forget there was an episode of Married with Children, uh, which was a TV series with Al Bundy. Uh, well, the, that was the actor's name in the 80s. And there was an episode during Labor Day weekend where he had off from working in the mall as a shoe salesman, and he took all his children and his wife, he took them all in the car, and they were going to go on like a, a day trip or something to the beach or something. And there was so much traffic, he was so stressed, it was a horrible vacation. And that's kind of what I'm saying here. Now, was Al Bundy living the simple life while well, he lived in a crappy house? He had a crappy car. So just buying cheap shit does not mean a simple life. Now, he made his life too complex because he got married with two children. Let's <laughs> start there, okay? But, you know, obviously there's a lot of things, and obviously that's a, that's a, that is a, a comedy, uh, not fact, but fiction. However, the number one cause of stress in the world is relationships. The uh, highest level of comments I get on this channel related to deep issues in life are centered around relationships. And I tell you right now, in your search for the simple life, don't go searching for the perfect RV or the perfect tiny home. Go searching for self-care. Go searching for eliminating people in your life that are toxic. Okay. And if you don't know how to do that, okay, you got deeper issues. You got to start working on yourself. Okay, because no one else can tell you how to be your best self. 
They can inspire you because they can motivate you. But damn it, you got to do the work. So look, you know, I could tell you that you can never eliminate stress and uh, something always comes up at the job. Things always happen outside of your control and I hate it. it. It makes me at times question God and this earth. Like you can do everything right and you could try to put your best foot forward and you still get screwed sometimes. However, I have also to be fair to God and to the world I have seen my life change if I put, the more effort you put into something, the more lucky you get, the more consistent you are, the more you tend to grow and, and you can have some moments of enjoyment. So it's the good and the bad. I mean, you can't be unfair in that assessment. And for me, what I could tell you is the simple, you know, simplifying my life, materialism and relationships makes my life easier. And there's no debate. There's no Judge Judy. There's no, you're going to tell me this long story and I'm going to, you know, digest it and see if you're going to be in my life. For me, if we don't vibe, bye. Okay. Why? Because that's why I live a simple life so that I have limited liabilities so that I don't have to keep you in my life for financial reasons or emotional reasons. I don't need that. Okay. I don't want people adding stress to my life. I want people adding value to my life. Okay, shit. I'm talking on fire this morning. I'm giving you that value. I feel good. Okay. So what I could tell you is this. I broke it down for you. Okay. Now I want to extend it a little bit, but there's no reason to extend a good message. Those who uh, are, are have a fertile ground in their soul to self improve and to motivate them, this message is a blessing. Okay. Flowers will bloom from the fertile ground, but for those who have a concrete soul, who are psychopaths, over, uh, just a total disaster, bottom line, okay, I guess I can say a lot of like smart stuff, but they're a total disaster, <laughs> they ain't never gonna get the message, they masturbate to the thumbs down, and I don't care, why, because I say, wow, look at humanity, no matter what you do, uh, there's some people that are never happy with you, and you have to accept that as a leader, as a YouTuber, okay, and, um, I accept it, okay? And I look it dead in the camera's eye and I say, I'll upload a video today. I'll upload a video tomorrow. I'll upload a video the day after. I'll go live tonight. All those who are members of this channel will have unlimited access to the live chats. Click that blue join button if you'd like to be a member. Click the thumbs up if you're not a psychopath and you receive this message, okay? If you're a psychopath, strap on your football helmet and click the thumbs down. I'm not mad at you. I want you to get better. I want you to live a simple life. Okay? But yelling at your mother because she didn't bring home the right Hot Pockets, not simple. Or if you're an ugly chick that's totally a psychopath and you wanted to get with me and I denied you and now you're uh, spiteful, uh, time to move on. Okay, <laughs> Time to go stalk Nate from Vel uh, Element Van Life Okay, because I'm not the one. Okay, He'll go give you a little uh, guitar. I'll give you the middle finger emoji. Well, I don't play that shit. So... Guys, this is good stuff. I give you guys good stuff every day, okay? Do you guys care? Some people care. Some people, <laughs> they want to be pandered to. Uh, yeah, take your pick. All right, keep pushing forward and make the most of your life, you know what I mean, while you're here. Bottom line, that's all we can do, right? All right.